Oh, kitty, you like that Wi-Fi controlled laser, don't you? You really want it. Oh. Alright, it's Crazy here with Arduino for Noobs and I got a few things to show you in this video so I'm going to kind of go through them quickly. Uh, this is the first example here. It is the example of the touch sensor on the ESP32. Now I just have a regular male to male uh, jumper cable here hooked up to pin D4. So the code is in the description. This is what's going to happen when you touch the pin the onboard light's going to glow. So let go, it's going to turn off, give it a nice touch, it's going to go on and off, depending on if you touch it. Now, the code is in the description and it's commented very well. I really try my best to comment it so you can look at it and know exactly what's going on. So I'm not going to go over the code with you guys because it's there for you so you guys can dissect it yourself but but uh, this is part one of it the touch sensing so now I want to do something cool with that I, you know making a, a light blink on the board that that's cool but not not too impressive that's that's amateur stuff and I know we're noobs but we want to do something a little cooler so next I'm going to show you what else I did with the setup And now we're on to phase two of the video. Now as you can see, there's our Arduino Pro Micro on the breadboard as well now with the ESP32. And you guys know I love me some Pro Micro. So um, let's just check the pins out here real quick so you guys can follow along. Um, ground and raw connected to negative and positive. I have a resistor connected to the negative of the LED. The positives in pin 10. Pin 9 I have going to pin D5 on the ESP32. We have the touch sensor still on D4 and we have 3 volt and ground hooked into the breadboard to power the Pro Micro. Now what does this all do? You take the sensing pin and we can make the LED on the Pro Micro glow now. How about that? Now that's getting use out of two boards. And the applications for this are you can make a relay work, you can make anything that ha that can be worked with on and off logic because right now it's zero is off, now it's on. So anything that, that you can put into pin 10 that can use on and off will work with this. The code is not on the GitHub for the Pro Micro side because it's so simple that I mean I can just show it to you right now. That's it. That's the code for the Pro Micro part. You just gotta declare the pins here. REC pin is the pin 9 that goes from D5 on the ESP. The LED is on pin 10. Uh, pin state is just a variable to hold the state of the pin. We're doing an input for the receiving pin, output for the LED pin. Then uh, pin state, the variable, will equal digital read of the receiving pin. Now, if the pin is high, it'll light the LED. If it's not, it won't light it. And the pin will be high depending on the touch. So, pin's high, pin's low. Pin's high, pin's low. Now, I wouldn't try doing the reverse, trying to make this go back here with a high or low or anything, because this is a 5 volt per micro, and this is a 3.3 volt ESP. So, you don't want to having this one communicate with this one might blow out your board with the 5 volt pin logic here so either you want to step down that voltage to 3.3 in between or don't don't do it just do one way like I am and like I said the, the code is too simple so I just showed it to you you can pause it if you want to use it but um, the code for this has that built in already 
you'll have that functionality with the code as is on GitHub. So now there's one more thing I want to show you. We made this LED on the Pro Micro turn on with the sensing pin, but I want to do something a little different. And to accomplish that, I'm going to need another ESP32. So I'll show you guys the last phase of this project here and what this ESP will do for us right in a second. Alright guys, I got the other ESP32 on the breadboard now. And here's a little sneak peek. You can see I got Crazy's Wi-Fi device dashboard up. And that's what we're doing here. This ESP is going to go uh, Wi-Fi and it's going to tell this Pro Micro to turn that pin on. I had a similar example for the 8266. I just upgraded it, updated it, and now it's on the ESP32. So when I plug it in, you're going to notice the blue light on board is going to flash. And this is it, all in the code in the description, so you're going to have this too, guys. So when this turns on, the blue light will flash, and that means it's connecting to my network. When the blue light stays on and steady, that means we're connected and we're ready to go. So here it goes. And you can see how fast it connected. This board is really impressive. Connects very fast. So it's going to start this server here. When you upload your code, run the serial monitor and it'll tell you what IP to go to, which it might be different for you guys. For me, it was 192.168.0.116. But again, when you upload the code, open the serial monitor and it'll tell you your exact IP to use. So now that we have the Wi Fi device dashboard up, Kersey a crazy, we're going to go to device 1 and device 1 will be pin D5. So we have D5 hooked up to 9 as the previous example. Everything's all the same. The only difference is this is ESP. This ESP is Wi-Fi enabled now where the other one was a, a touch pin. So here we go. We're going to turn it on now. There goes the LED. And there it's off. Now you can see this board is really quick, it's instantaneous. When I hit that button, it's going. Half the problem is finding the button while I'm looking through the camera, but there you guys go. You have Wi-Fi uh, device connectivity now. You can take away the Pro Micro and instead directly light a LED, uh, directly use a relay. We'll do that in the next video probably. We'll use this with a relay to, to remotely turn on and off stuff but that's how simple it is and you guys got the code on github take it apart do what you want with it it's public domain improve on it or just use it for your for your own needs but um i hope this video helped you guys and stay imagining stay creating because who else would hook up a esp32 to a pro micro but crazy i don't know not a lot of people so um stay tuned for my next videos i'll be having some more projects with the 32 ESP32. This is my first day of programming for it, so I, I think we, we did pretty good today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment, message me, whatever you guys want to do. I'm here, I'm listening. So uh, thanks again for watching and take it easy.